I think that when someone develops COPD or someone develops bronchiectasis, that it is a combination of genetics and environment. And that if you have the right or wrong type of genetics that makes you susceptible to certain environmental insults, you will develop COPD, you will develop bronchiectasis. How can I say that? Well, let's think about this. Not everyone who smokes develops COPD. What, what percentage of smokers develop COPD? Maybe four out of 10. So why did this person who smoked, let's say you have two people, they have the exact same smoking history, pack of cigarettes a day or pack and a half of cigarettes a day for 40 years. One patient develops COPD, the other one doesn't. There's obviously a genetic predisposition and then given the right or wrong environmental triggers, this patient will develop COPD, this patient will develop bronchiectasis. So it's a very complex question. No one really knows the answer to at this point.